Right. Hello, YouTube. <coughs> Flipping cough. Right. Welcome to something a little new. Uh, I'm doing, for this one, a bit of a playthrough on Cell Quinta, the Six City Quest. And like with IORC, this is another game I actually made. Uh, I don't know whether I'll play through the whole thing, or just some of it, so I'll show, you, show it off to you guys, give you a bit of an idea of what we're working with. But it is an RPG, and we'll get started. Uh, we don't need to worry about full screen, it's already in full screen. Hopefully this records okay. Um, RPG Vector Gates have a bit of an odd resolution, so even if it displays on full screen on my end, I think it squashed it up a bit into the original resolution, so I think you might have black bars on the side. Selquinter, also known as the Island of Meeting. This island acts as the unofficial capital of the world, known as Baron Khalil. This nation is one of the five that make up this world, but it is not the only one. It's also the island of the undead, Selken. Massive rocky and volcanic island of Selmounta. Burning, sometimes molten deserts of Salona. And lastly, the mostly unknown island of Sel Tor. Some talk of a rumored sixth island that appears sometimes on the world's oldest maps, though no one seemed to be able to find it. However, well, I should get those other islands in time. For now, our story takes place on Sel Quinta. And the six heroes of our story are about to meet for the first... Oh, this is how it's being introduced? My apologies, player. How many times you've seen something like this? Though, I suppose it's not factually wrong. I'm sorry, I was hoping that... Oh, me? I am the villain of this story. The King of Seltor. This might be our last meeting for a little while, so I felt it a good idea to at least get a show in now. Don't worry, I have no intent to harm you or your party, yet anyway. That's not what I'm trying to do. In your case, I'm not even your enemy. It's complicated. But for now, play on. Still waiting. Oh. That's a little bit of our introduction. Right. Hey, stranger, we're almost at the old mansion. You holding up okay back there? It's a little cramped I'm back here among the cargo, but beats being out there in the rain. Easy, girl, easy. I know you don't like this old place, but it's been empty for years. No one's going to attack you, you daft horse. But pardon my asking, Samson, was it? Why were you wanting to come to this old place? Ain't no one living here for quite some time now. Uh, I'm following up on a lead. The king put out a bunch of commissions looking for adventurers. And, honestly, I really need the work. Supposedly, it's a pretty big, well-paying job, and apparently we're meeting here. <coughs> eh, adventuring, eh? Oh, to be young again. So quite is a good place to go adventuring for certain. Plenty of strange stuff, and nothing too dangerous in most places. Good luck to you. Oh, and speaking of, we've arrived. Good luck to you if you're going to be adventuring. If you ever swing by the capitals, check out Yuva's shop. She's got some excellent equipment for adventurers. Might save your life someday. Alright, you wonderful folks on the outside of the carriage. Next stop, Cole Canna. What? And here we are at the mansion on the hill. Hopefully the audio is balanced okay. I might turn the in-game volume down a little bit. It's a little... The music is a little loud by default, I think. I figured it was better to be a bit loud and then people could turn it down but a bit too quiet and you can't turn it up enough. Well, looks like this is the place. It's pretty well tucked away. Not sure I'd have found it on foot. I think this lead is actually worth something this time, too. Guess I'd better head up on up and introduce myself. And controls. Let's quickly turn the volume down a tiny bit. the rain that seems to be a bit uh, better walking's uh, running's on by default we're gonna leave that on we're not gonna use instant text that's fine and battle animations we shall show and we'll do a quick save I don't have a full save on here but don't doubt you thought that for you I did test the game <laughs> I just uh, test it on actual RPG maker rather than on the steam thing uh, there have been a few patches to the game already I've done one uh, fixing some of the grammar and one fixing a few bugs, so it should be in pretty good shape. Man, this place, uh, this is in bad shape. It's not about to fall down, I think, but it's overgrown as anything. I hope this isn't another dead lead. 
Still, I should see if anyone's around anyway. A bit of a wander. Look in the air uh, of the garden. Hmm. I've seen this garden. There's as poorly kept as the mansion. Uh, hey, are you one of the other adventurers? This guy's pretty intimidating looking. Taller than me and looks to be in better shape too. What's with that clothing? Is he a monk? Oh, well, yes, well, I've answered the call that I assume you have at any rate. The door is sealed though. If this is the right place, the host isn't answering. Ah, that would be a problem. Uh, any ideas? I'll admit at the moment, no. For now, I'm choosing to have patience. I travel a long way to get here, a little longer will not hurt. R right. I guess I'll leave you to it. Damn, I forgot to ask his name. It's just going to be awkward if I ask now. Guess I'll have to wait and find out later. <coughs> my voice for him might be okay. I have a feeling my voice for the girls is not going to be so much. I'll talk to this lovely lady. Yeah, stuff window might just be reachable. If I'd have blasted a few new handholds, then maybe... But still, climbing's not my forte, exactly. Uh, hello there? Oh, people? Well, I suppose that makes sense. I knew others would be showing up here. So, you're here for the same reason I am? You saw the posters? Oh, my name's Samson, by the way. Sorry, I guess I should have opened with that. She's kind of mysterious looking with that mask. Taller than she looks at distance, too. Definitely a spellcaster or some kind of robe like that. Vagal. And yes, I'm here for the adventuring position. But it seems our host hasn't done us the courtesy of actually showing up. Not exactly impressive. Ah, which explains what you said about... Hey, were you just going to blast holes in the wall to climb up it? I'm still considering it, yes. Yikes, not sure how our potential employer is likely to take something like that. She's either brave, a bit mad, or... Cadaver Mansion. The sign is in much better condition than the one at the entrance, but still clearly time-worn. Uh, hello? Are you in there? That's weird, it's locked, but no one's answering. Hmm, press one of the others out here knows what's going on. Ugh, I can't believe this. All this way, and not only is the whole place locked up tight, but there's not even anyone to greet me, and now it's raining. Uh, hello? Don't suppose there's any more room under that shelter? Hmm? Oh, hi. Uh, there's not much. Gotta keep my stuff dry, but if you want to squeeze in for a moment, feel free. Ah, thanks. I'm Samson. You? Adeline. Uh, so you're an adventure too, then? Y yeah. Not gonna mention how unsuccessful I've been, mind. I've, um, been around a few local ruins, searched for a few monsters. Nothing major, though. You? Oh, um, honestly, I'm kind of new to this. This, uh, this is the first adventure I've been on. Really? I look like you've done pretty well, though, with all that gear you've got with you. In fact, she doesn't really look like she's a working sort like me. With skin, hair, and clothing that nice, she's got to be a noble or something, right? Oh, look, she's kind of cute, too, but, yeah, this probably isn't the time to think about that. Ah, yeah, just packed quite heavily. Is the front door open yet? I tried knocking, but nothing happened, and despite the state of this place, the front door looks really good. Couldn't pick it open, either. Well, considering everyone else out here, I'm going to guess it's still shut. Oh yes, and uh, I should mention you can uh, talk to them again for a little, little more dialogue. Not a huge amount, but there's a little bit. Still, someone's picked some of these recently. There has to be someone here. So, I don't know. The stone looks pretty rotten if I hit it too hard. Bringing down the whole building isn't exactly part of my plan. Yeah, you. Ugh, I'm going to catch a cold at this rate. What is this rain going to let up? That's weird. The cape almost looks like... Uh, hello? Whoa! As the figure turns, Samson realizes his first guess was right. The figure wasn't wearing a cape, but rather has an impressive pair of leathery wings. Not to mention horns. Well, hello to you too, stranger. What brings you here? And yes, before you ask, yes, I am a demon, and no, you don't have to worry. I, I don't? Oh, uh, that's, um, not what I'd heard about demons at all. Sorry, I, um, that kind of threw me off a bit. It's fine, I get that a lot. What's your name? Uh, Samson. It's Samson. It's, uh, nice to meet you. I'm here to sign up for the adventure position. You? It's a pleasure to meet you, Samson, and I'm Raelia. I'm here for the same reason as you, actually, but as you might have found by now, this place is locked up tight. Ah. Um, I'm guessing as you've got wings, you tried checking the roof for an entrance? Ah, rain's too heavy. Unfortunately, they're waterlogged. For the moment, though, I'm simply trying to meet with everyone coming in. Won't hurt to get to know those I'll be working with, and of course to check if there's anyone I like. Although, probably because I'm a demon, even though I've seen the others, they've all avoided me. You're the only one to, well, just come up and say hello like you did. Oh, really? 
I'm um, sorry to hear that. Now that I look at her up close, she's kind of stunning is the only way I can put it. Even without those horns or wings, I've never seen anyone with a beetle like hers. Even with her being a demon, I'm really the only one to at least say hello. Sorry, I think I'm staring. I'd um, probably better get back to finding a way in. <laughs> well, trust me, I have no worries about that. I know my looks draw people's gaze, and good luck. Well, I guess that's all the other adventurers. It looks like no one's made it in. They just arrived too early or something? There's no time set. I guess I should look for a way into this place. Oh, back already? Can I help? Or are you just enjoying the view? But yes. So one of the main mechanics of this game is if something's interactable, you most of the time will get a blue glowing wisp like this sort of market. Hmm, let's see. Uh, well, it's possible the world connects to the house, maybe. Nah, that one's a stretch even for me. Definitely not getting in through there. I'd probably go through the game fairly quickly, but uh, I did write it. I have played it many times. <laughs> I do know what I'm doing. Hmm, now let's see. Well, that open window might be a way in, but there's no way I could climb the wall. I had a ladder or something, I guess, but I don't see any out here. Hmm, now let's see. Hmm, the sinkhole. Maybe this could be a way in. Perhaps someone's tunneled in already. No, wait, it only goes a little way in. Looks like a no-go. Of course, there's one up there. Hmm, let's see. Aha! There's a back door. It's not even locked. Great, let's head on in. Maybe unlock the front door for the others and introduce myself to the people inside. Well, it doesn't look too much better in here than out there. Hello? Anyone in? I'm really starting to wonder if this is just the wrong manor on a hill. Or maybe I've been had again. But it looks like a big place, so I guess I'd better at least take a look around. At the very least, I'd better find the front door key and let the others in. I guess this series will be a bit of a, a bit of a walkthrough as well as a playthrough. Given that I kind of know what I'm doing for the most part. Kitchen, main hall. Kitchen, servants' quarters. It looks like the servants' quarters are just a wreck. If there's anyone here, they either haven't bought any servants or they've yet to clean up in here. Hopefully my voice can withstand it, because there's a lot of dialogue in this game. It's food. The rest's all rotten, but this is fresh. Maybe only made today. There's got to be someone here, then. Let's have a look upstairs. Actually, no, let's try the front door. Damn, locked. I was hoping to let the others in. Gotta be a key around here somewhere. Stairwell, chapel. The Book of Deem. Hmm, I know he's head god of the eight, but the details escape me. Uh, we'll go for this room next. Workshop, stairwell. These are, I think, plans for something. This complexity, this is well beyond me. Who could even think up something like this? Looks like someone's trying to build... Is it a bird? Aha! This has got to be for the front door. Got the front door key. Oh hey, treasure. Oh wait, this isn't gold. What is this stuff? It's nearly the right colour. Still, these little things look more like parts for some kind of contraption than coins, but they're tiny. Weird. It's a washroom. Uh, I suppose I should have checked before I just pushed it in. Whoops. Looks like someone's used it recently. Oh yeah, bathroom and workshop. Eh, indoor toilets, whatever next. Yeah, we've got the front door key, but we'll keep going up. A little look on the top floor. Oh, yeah, I forgot to check the sign again. Fresh flowers, they've even been watered. As if there weren't already enough signs of someone being here. But where are you? Stairwell, master bedroom. Library, stairwell. Storage, library. Also locked. Not sure what I expected at this point. Hmm, there's a file here amongst the books. I, King of Kolkana, do agree to the sale of this mansion to one Hetty Banson. This was a few weeks ago. Is this Hetty the new owner? Well, I guess we better go let the others in. Don't want to keep him out in the rain too long. I can't really, uh... I'll maybe try to do some commentary on certain parts of the game, but I, I can't really review it because, uh, well, I made it. <laughs> I am therefore automatically biased. Ladies, gentlemen, the mansion is open for business. 
All right, finally out of the rain. How'd you get in? Trade secret. Nah, just kidding. I found a back door. It wasn't locked. So, this is the home of our host, hmm? Seems to be inside disrepair. Oh dear, it really is as bad inside as out. So, I'm surprised it was you that found the way in. My money was on our master friend here. I'm not your friend, demon. At the moment, I'm not even your colleague. My, my, look at the temper on you. Uh oh, this smells like a fight. Better break this up before it starts. Uh, I still couldn't find our host. How about we all split up and go looking for them? Seems as good a plan as any. I'll check the left wing on the ground floor. I'm going to go up right up top. Check out the right wing. Perhaps my dream of finding treasure here isn't over just yet. I can see books through one window. Presumably a library. Or probably a library even. I shall survey there. I'll follow you, Samson. See what we can find. You seem to have a knack for finding things so far. Sure thing. Call out if you find anyone. Or any clue as to why there's apparently no one here. We have our first follower. Fresh potatoes. Ugh, just realised how long it's been since I've had a decent meal. Well, I'm sure our future employer wouldn't mind if we made ourselves something. Uh, it would probably be best to find them first. Ah, you're checking here too? Well, I can already tell you there's someone here. These supplies are definitely fresh. There's old boxes too, but these definitely only got moved in recently. Yes, the supply yard I was in did seem oddly well stocked for such a worn out old building. And yet there's no staff around, it's weird. Yes, yeah, so I'll keep looking. There may be something I've missed, though I doubt it. Some small clue, maybe. Oh, a piano. It's been some time since I've heard one. Do you play? Uh, afraid not. You? Nope. Uh, it is a shame. I was hoping someone could softly serenade me over a candlelit dinner. Still never know. Maybe one of the others plays. Or perhaps even our elusive employer. Oh, good. Religious drivel. You yeah, not a worshipper of any of the gods, then? Oh, demons worship the gods. Some of us. I'm sure they're real. I just hold a little favour to them or their followers. They don't tend to be kind to our race. I can't even blame them, but we're not all bad. Ah, the treasures of man. Oh, but these aren't jewels. What are these? I expected gold at first, but... I uh, don't know what they're made of either, but I don't think they're jewellery. The components of an artificer, perhaps? I see. Artificer? I'm not sure what that is. Some kind of mage, maybe? Oh, well, well, look at this. Very nicely kitted out. I'll definitely have to take a bath here later if we get the time. Someone's bought some pretty high-end bathroom supplies. With how long I've been on the road, I probably ought to do the same, honestly. What's in here, I wonder? <coughs> oh, gods. What's in that? It's rancid. I uh, think it was cosmetics. Looks like they've gone off. Yeah, very off. Healing potions, mana potions, maps. Definitely adventuring supplies. Say, did you bring anything along those lines? Weapons or anything? Uh, I've got some basic equipment. Short swords, a padded armor, small round shield. That's about it, though. And sadly, no money. You? Uh, not much. Got my swords, some armor. They're packed reasonably, but I'm sure we wanted to expand our arsenals when we get the chance. Score. Look at all these fiddly parts. That has to be worth a fortune. Oh, hey. Found anything up here? Yeah. She jumps for a moment, quietly pocketing the item she picked up off the table before anyone could see. Handlebacks. Uh, sorry, I had to pause for a moment. Don't sneak up on me like that. You almost gave me a heart attack. Too late. As she said this, apparently having gotten behind her unnoticed, she gently caresses the pink-haired woman's neck, gently with one hand. Or caresses even. Why you... <laughs> Excellent reaction. I can't really I can't really do that. I'm not even going to try and do that reaction there. Uh... Locally. Hey. Uh, all right, all right. I guess that was pretty well played. Unfortunately, I haven't found anything yet. Not for lack of trying, though. Well, I guess we'd better keep searching. Good luck. My neck's still tingling from that. She's got quite the touch, I guess. I like every hair on my body stood up on end. Not to mention the heart attack when he walked in on me. Fascinating. It seems whoever lives here was both quite very interesting. Oh, was. Yeah. Read the words, Doug. Uh, yeah. It seems whoever lived here was very interested in learning both martial combat and the skills required to become an artificer. As worthy a past the study of any, I suppose. Have you found out anything about where our host may actually be? Hmm? 
No, no, I haven't. Still, if you want to know anything about combat, then I've marked a few helpful tomes, explain the finer points of things. I assume you two could both fight. Oh, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Still, I know some healing magic, so I could patch you up after if needed. I see. I have also marked some books that cover the history of this world, if those would be of any assistance. I warn you, though, I have marked rather a lot. She's not kidding. Hello, what do we have here? It's under your foot, you're half stepping on it. A key. Maybe someone dropped it? What does it unlock? Dunno, but I bet we can find out. <clears throat> and a key of some kind. Yep, so if you want tutorials on anything or a bit more info on things, you can read the books. There's some on law. Uh, and some that are, well, like that one, not law related at all. Uh, I'll leave you guys to find out what's on that one. Alright, here goes. Oh, that explains where they are. Uh, miss? What? Whoa, sorry, I fell asleep. What time is it? Where are my glasses? Oh, I'm still wearing them. Is it still Sunday? Close, it's midday and it's Monday. Oh no, I'm laid, again. laid up again, aren't I? How many people are waiting? Oh, work of adventurers too. I'm uh, way better to yourself for everyone at once. Uh, the king's going to be so mad at me. Relax, relax, you're just fine. I'm just glad there was someone here at all. Get yourself together and we'll go get this all sorted. Hey, yes, thank you. I'm sorry. I've come a long way on foot, you see, and it's just been so tired. Ah, right, I think we're all here, correct? Is this everybody? Okay, okay. Right, um, welcome everyone. Welcome to my humble and currently awaiting renovations home. My name is Hetty, and I work as the Herald of Sel Quintus King, Ornstein the 15th. You have all, I trust, received the word that he is looking for help for a certain endeavour, and that there is substantial payment being offered. But I should inform you that this quest will be both lengthy and likely very difficult. You see, Seltor, the mysterious nation to our southwest, is raising a navy of massive proportions. We believe they are planning an invasion of no less than all four major continents, and that this invasion will be coming sometime within the next year or two. <coughs> oh dear. Sorry guys, I've got this flippant cough. Won't go away. But what? You can't be serious. Not a word from them for centuries, and now something like this? Hold on. Assuming it is true, what does he intend for a group of adventurers to do about it? I assure you, this is true. I've seen it myself. I've been out with the scouting fleet. Our role, I will be helping with this, is to raise support. We will be travelling to secure military aid from the other sub-nations of Sel Quinta and the other three islands of Sel Mounta, Sel Ona, and Sel Kern. So, we're messengers, or diplomats, I suppose. Yes, though you'll also be a combat escort. While taking on the tasks we may have to complete along the way to gain the support we need. Well, that sounds doable, I suppose. Why hasn't the king sent you a special escort of his own? We can't afford to. Anyone trained at the palace is being roped into training new recruits. We're setting up a mass recruitment plan across the city. We'll need every single person we can get. For anyone who is still looking to take on this quest, I have a bit of a test lined up. This old mansion was, we believe, once home to a dark mage of some kind. And I believe there to be some remnants of his work left in the cellar. I don't believe it's anything terrifying, but it is very likely dangerous. We'll need to clear the cellar if we are to use this place as a future command centre of castle. Are there any among you, having heard what I have to say, who will still be joining me? I have a question. Go ahead, Miss... Catalin. Uh, or okay, Catalin. Uh, what exactly is the pay for this mission? Aside from regular pay from completing various steps in our quest, there is a special final payment. Payment, even. Pavement? Yeah. The king has located the wreck of the Tor Star, a ship carrying a gigantic platinum shipment that sunk 30 or so years back. He is willing to provide you with both its location and the salvage crews needed to recover the cargo. Estimated value, 15 billion gold pieces. B billion? Are you serious? Yes, I'm in. I'm a million percent in. 15 billion? Did the king even have that kind of money? Say, it would solve my money problems would be an understatement. It's a uh, Samson, and yes, yes, I am in. Vagel. And you're saying, we'd be fighting a whole nation of conquerors? Ah, 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 ah. I am in. I will personally crush every one of those who think they can overrun this world. And whatever pathetic creatures reside in your cellar. I'll leave nothing left standing. Uh, yeah, I'm in. Yikes, she's got a totally different aura now. Her key practically inverted. What kind of personality could even do that? Right, my name. It's Lysandroff. This is sounding like more and more fun the more I hear. 
Yes, count me in too. You can call me Raylia, darling. D darling? Uh, <clears throat> we should uh, get started. The way into the cellar is just in the corner. It was under a chest of drawers, but I've already moved it. Just over here. Well, we're down. Now what? See, Carl, is anything dangerous down here and eliminate it? Nothing too complicated, but we need to clear out the whole cellar. I should probably ask what we're working with. What are all your specialties? Specialties is probably the wrong word for me, but I could do a bit of everything. I can fight and cast spells to some degree. I can... Well, let's just say that if you need something the enemy is carrying, I can improve our chance of getting it drastically. And no magic on my end, though. Destruction magic is my own focus. There shouldn't be much I can't reduce to smoking ember, should we need to. For myself, it is repeated strikes and combination attacks delivered with utmost precision. You won't find a better martial artist anywhere on Silquinter. But I can cast healing magic, put you all back together again if you uh, make any mistakes. And my obviously demonic heritage grants me a uh, rather strong natural charm and immunity to fire. Need a foe distracted? Just let me know. Now, it sounds like we have a good range of abilities to work with. I'm myself a more warrior. I've been mostly formally trained. It should be a good addition to this team in combat. We begin to weaken, or perhaps if one of us should be knocked out, we can return up the ladder to rest up and recover. Leave that as all for now. Let us get to our task. So yes, you can. You could heal off the ladder. Looks like these were full of wine. This one's broken, but I suppose we could celebrate one of the others later if they're still okay. Excellent suggestion. I will pardon the pun. Drink to that. Ugh, not looking forward to dragging some of this up out of here later. I really need to hire some staff. Is really just you here at the moment? Yes, as I said, we're really busy at the moment. The king didn't even have any spare staff to send with me. Our first foe. Alright, this is the first of them. Here we go. I'm going to adjust my chair a bit because I've sunk to the floor while I've been talking. Weapons up, everyone. These guys might already be dead, but they're still moving. Indeed, they're looking pretty slow to react, so if you want, I still have time to go over the basics of combat if you need, but it'll have to be quick. Uh, why not? Uh, yeah, that might be a good idea, actually. What is our plan? Alright, player, this is for you. Combat takes place in turns. You can select what actions you want us to take out of attacking, guarding, magic, or techniques, and we'll carry out them out in order of our speed or agility statistic. This includes the enemy. We'll all be fighting at once. Attack is your bread and butter. It tells us to make a normal attack with the weapon we're holding. Guard has us raise our defences to take less damage for a turn. Magic allows you to cast whichever spells you know. Cast them uses your mana and you'll need to have enough to cast them or they won't work. Techniques use your TP gauge which builds up as you attack or fill certain conditions. What they do varies a lot but it's explained in the menus. They're getting close so they'll have to do. You're smart. You got this. Hopefully we do. We're going to use a bit of uh, magic. You can press shift when you go to selected enemy to see a bit more info and Q and W will switch the pages. I believe you... I can't remember if you learn the, the weaknesses after you beat one or after you hit them with a certain type of attack. Our techniques won't be ready to go yet because we don't have any power. So we're going to try and just burn up these uh, skeletons. I think we got them there. Level up. Ah! Anyone else? It's over. What? Looks like I've come a long way. I guess there's some custom little messages for leveling up. I believe everyone's got three different ones. And of course, some loot. We've gained 51 gold, a sword, and a couple of spears. Short spears. Ah, excellent work, everyone. I think I've got a bit more of an idea of what you're all capable of now. And I'm glad to see my suspicions of what we're down here were correct too, so far. Reanimated corpses, and in a poor state too. I uh, don't suppose that was all of them. I hope not. I'm not nearly done testing my might against them. No, I don't think that's all of them just yet. We need to, and come back to the main part of the mansion to rest and recover. Right, let's get going. Yeah, we'll quickly heal up. See as we're right here. Doesn't cost anything. And we've got a bit more equipment, so why not use a little bit of it? There goes south of the spear. Uh, and we'll leave the rest. Oh, there's lots of them here. Let's get them cleared out. I'll actually read that. 
player, if you like, I can quickly explain how I fight. It could be of use to you. So each of the characters will basically offer to explain kind of how their role works. And you can either skip it or you can oh, do this. All right. As the party's warrior, they're probably going to be the main source of physical damage and can absorb more physical damage than the others too. My techniques are focused on uh, either on buffing the abilities of the other party members or dishing out either physical lightning fire or ice damage. My basic finisher will get one party member fired up, drastically increasing their attack and healing them. So use it when you need to strike hard. Uh, the um, only thing is I'm not fast. All that heavy armor I'm wearing weighs me down. So it might not be the best idea to count on me to act quickly. Now we have a few techniques charged up. We're going to use upswing. So basically a heavy hitting attack, but it might just randomly fail. Uh, we're going to use tornado. Wind attack that hits all enemies. Uh... Lysandros not quite charged that yet, so he'll smack one of the zombies. Same for Caitlyn. She has some steaming skills, but she's not powered up yet. Aurelia, once again, is going to try and burn them. And Hetty will use her Dynamo Blade. An electrical swing that can paralyze. There we go. Excellent work. Are they up to level 3? I believe I have it set so even downed party members will gain EXP. I hate that thing in games where, you know, like you, you beat a boss and someone like dropped dead on the last turn kind of thing. So only one player gets the experience. I, I never like that. So everyone gains it, even if some of your party's down. It looks like Hedy isn't leading from the back. She's a pretty fierce fighter. It's not reckless either. Heck, I could probably learn it to her from her, it seems. And I believe... What did we get? We got some armor, didn't we? Yeah, we'll take that. Next enemy. More of you? I'll crush you just the same. Player, if it'll help, I suppose I'll explain how I normally fight. I see. Well, I'm a destruction mage. I'm here for mostly just one thing. Massive magical destruction across a single or multiple opponents. I primarily use my spells, but I can rely on my few techniques like channel to help replenish my mana, which you'll want to keep up so I can keep casting away. My finisher over channel will restore the mana of the whole party and increase all of our magical damage and resistance. It'll also reduce the amount of mana needed for us to cast our spells for a while, so it's probably best to use either right away against tough foes or to restore reserves in a fight that's dragging on. I think we can now see their resistances. Yes, so you see their stats, I believe, once you've beaten them, and you find out the resistances by fighting them. Uh, we'll use Voltage, a lightning spell that sparks across two enemies. It's two random targets. Uh, we'll use Crush. Throws a boulder at a foe that might uh, stun or confuse. By Sandroff, we use Hammer Hand. A, uh, basically a punch that has a high chance of stunning. Catalan is still not powered up. Aurelia will heal Lysandroff because he's looking a little weaker. And Hedy will use a Piercing Strike that reduces the foe's defenses. Ooh, got lucky. I think we can finish this fellow off without too much difficulty. Done. Let's move on. Good way of putting it, Lysandroth. Well, seems like Vagal's style is pretty easy to figure out. We'll ask the foe to dust before they can do anything. I wish I could cast Strolls that strong. This is more than a little reckless. Gotta strike them down. Delisle, guide my fists. Player, would you like some explanation of how my fighting style works? Sure thing. And to explain. My fighting style is based around techniques that chain into each other, and key-based moves that either have utility to them, or could strike while ignoring the normal elemental resistances. Then you have my finisher, Flurry. It's a move that rapidly strikes all foes, so it's good for thinning out larger crowds of foes. Just be aware that my combination skills will still need the TP for all the moves that they chain into. So keep that in mind, or some of them might stop early and they won't keep going if I miss or am evaded. Oh, and lastly, my speed is about equal, so if you need to strike first, call upon me. I'm just going to do some regular swings for this one. Build up TP a bit for everybody. Oh, party member down. And I'm being poisoned. Right, we'll burn that guy. We'll use his Key Burster. 
It's four random enemies, but it burns a lot of key. We will have Caitlyn try and steal something. It steals a random item. You don't get to pick what, but the steal chance is higher. Aurelia, you're going to use Awaken to get Vagal back up again. Healing spells won't work when a party member is completely down. You have to revive them first. Hey, he stole his spear. Okay, we got away with it. Uh, we'll have her use channel to restore her mana a bit. Actually, no, save it, because we'll... We'll head back up and uh, recover in a sec. We'll have... Rayleigh is clarified to cure uh, negative status effects like poison. I'll try to show off a good deal of their uh, abilities as the playthrough goes on. And we gain some various items. Wow, it looks like Lysandros has been warming up this whole time. His speed's crazy. He's no slouch of his strikes either. I don't think I can keep up if I tried. Iron climbing claws was found. 200 gold was found. We found him some weapons. Yeah, we will quickly roam and recover. Seeing as Vagel took a, uh, a big hit there. She is definitely uh, the glass cannon of the party. Two of, them are move Two of these ones are moving in. Looks like we're finding them up close. They'll be easier to hit, but more likely to hit us. Take care. Player, if you've got a sec, I can quickly explain what I'd usually do in battle. Well, it's not complicated. I'm the party's healer. Primarily, I rely on magic to heal the damage the party is taking. I can also cast spells like Clarify to remove negative status effects. I can revive down party members, but those moves have a cooldown, so try to avoid letting them go down at all. I can also heal you up out of combat, too, if needed. My finishing move will heal up all still active party members and heal and cure all their status effects. Save that one for when the foe's putting the hurt on. You can also try and charm the foe to drop their stats. Oh, and my last demonic advantage, I'm immune to fire. Yep, she just doesn't take fire damage at all. A bit of a, a little natural boost. And yes, these guys who are close range are easier to hit. Flare. Uh, that's enough you can attack. Caitlyn needs to build up TP again. Really, uh, uh, you could charm them. Yeah, why not? We'll do a charm. And we'll attack you. And we've lowered his attack. Heal Samson. And the rest can swing away for the moment. Oh. I've been poisoned again. We'll uh, cure that up. Ah, well, we'll beat them before I even get a chance. Now yeah, we've got some new skills. I believe that was Wind Cutter and Gust. We've got Gust, Photon Lance, Crash Flake. Shatter and Calm, Pickpocket, sla uh, Snatch, and Slash Steel. Uh, restoring and Recovery. And Burning Spirit and Burning Blade. And a bit more equipment. Looks like really is doing a good job of keeping our health up. It's nice not having to dress my own wounds after a fight for once. Uh, yes, so you got heal, you got poison as well, didn't you? Our new spells are Restoring, that heals a bit more health, and it can even crit and heal more. And Recovery, which heals a bit of health to everybody. And surprisingly, yes, that is one of the most useful spells in the game. Especially its powered up version later on. Collapse day. Eh? The, uh, the house isn't likely to be at risk for this, is it? No, I think we're alright. I'm pretty sure this is under the garden somewhere. Someone's been smashing up these bones, or chippy pieces off them. I'll bet whoever's making the undead is responsible. This is definitely dark magic. Well, you would be the one to know. I'm not the one that's been blasting everything that moves, dear. In fact, the opposite. Necromancy really isn't my thing, anyway. They're guarding treasure. Get them! Oh, wait. They're just running like... Oh, whatever. Let's go help her. 
player. We've got a moment. What would explain how I do things quickly? Yep. Okay. So, I'm a thief. My primary goal in a fight isn't really direct fighting so much as it is trying to take things from the foe. I can either try and steal something at random or snatch something specific. But snatching's a bit harder, so my chances of getting something like that are usually lower. I can also use all sorts of skills that cause the foe problems, like backstabbing to make them bleed out. My finisher, Gold Rush, has, a, has me steal a whole bunch of items. But at that speed, it's hard to tell what. Maybe use it to take nice things from bosses? Oh, and there's a last thing. I'm lucky. I can land critical hits more easily than the others, and I'm much less likely to get hit by them myself. Yep. We use a wind cutter. Hits all enemies. We use one of the new spells. Let's try a photon lance on this guy. Try a shatter. Hit the same foe three times. Uh, we'll do a pickpocket. Let's try and... Steal something off that guy, say. Uh, Raylia will use a... She'll just attack. And Hetty can use one of her buffs, Burning Blade. Stole a health potion. Oh, slightly annihilate that fella. Oh, and he got counterattacked to death. <laughs> Yeah, counter-attacking is a thing that can happen. Uh, mages, I believe, can sometimes counter... No, they can evade magic. Uh, while um, physical attacks sometimes be countered. We have our finishers ready for some of our characters now. Save them for now. Uh, Crash Flake. We'll show, try that one off. Ice spell. Lysander can calm himself. This is a tap boost. Catelyn can... Maybe try to steal something specific? We'll try to steal a reanimating band, a special item. Uh, we'll have Rayleigh attack now that she's powered up, and we'll have Hetty guard so we can definitely get that steal off. Actually, no, she's a slow, she can attack. Hey, we stole it. <clears throat> okay, that went rather well. Have we got a hammer? To say that was reckless would be an understatement. She might have said it outright, but she's definitely a thief. Well, she said it to us, but I suppose not to them. Might not look it, but she's surprisingly good at finding openings, too. Must be lucky to have made it this far, too. Five small health potions found. Let's give... Who would want that reanimating band? Maybe Lysandroff. Yep, got some extra H... Actually, extra HP, probably good for uh, Vagal. And a bit of HP regen each turn. Look up ahead. Uh, what? The staircase? Exactly. There's not supposed to be more than one level in this cellar. Oh dear, oh dear. Your king really was in a hurry when he bought this place, wasn't he? It's no issue, though. We need to clear this place out, so we'll just clear out the area down there, too. Let's save quickly. We're getting near the end of uh, where I'm probably going to finish up this episode, but we'll, we'll try and push on to the first boss, I think. Would be a good stopping point. We're not there just yet, but I suppose we can rest up for a bit. Yep. Sport, we'll heal up quickly. Healing doesn't restore your TP. Uh, that only builds up by finding, but your mana and HP will be fully recovered. Uh, but TP is retained between fights, so you won't lose it. Looks like they've excavated a substantial amount of space down here. Remember, we don't have to clear everything in one go. If we need to, we can return to the surface to rest. Hmm. Statue of a demon? This looks hand-carved. Very impressive, and it's formed out of the ground, too. It's must have been carved in place. Maybe a free time project. You can tell just by looking at it. It's not formed by magic. Yes, yeah, so I actually sculpt a bit myself. Magically sculpted statues are perfectly smooth. They don't have these little chip marks. Didn't I know this girl? I think I went to school with her. She's even got a little birthmark on her face. I'll have to ask her about this if we ever meet her again. What? is this thing? If it was what I think it was, we should simply be glad it's dead. I've seen live ones, it's not fun. Mental note, find one of these, tame it, and add its strength to my own. I suspect it would make a fantastic mount. Although I guess I'll have to actually ask her where I could find one. Ugh. They were definitely digging for this, just who did you buy this place from? I've no idea, but next time I see the king I'm going to tell him he needs to take more care with this kind of thing in future. 
There's a lot of them here. Get ready, everyone. Don't forget, player, you can check those weaknesses with the shift key when you go to target them with an attack. Yeah, a little bit of tutorializing, but I forget it's best to make sure the player knows what they're doing. Player, looks like it's just me left to ask. You want me to explain how I fight? Sure thing. Well, my fighting style is... Uh, Alright, full disclosure, I don't have one. They're focused on learning how to do a bit of everything. I can cast spells, I can use some mostly damage-focused techniques, but in all honesty, I can't do either as well as some of the others. Probably the best thing to do is check the foe's weaknesses and choose whatever you think will work best in that situation. Yes, he doesn't have much of a specialty, but he can do a bit of everything, as he says. Uh, we we'll use a tornado. That seemed to work out quite well last time. Tornado with a cellar, as someone pointed out. We'll use one of Lysandra's combo attacks. The one-two. Uh, Caitlin can attack and build up some engage. Rayleigh can burn someone. And Hetty can... Uh, she could attack. For now. Lysandra uh, for the combo. The, uh, when the numbers go that sort of rainbow effect, that's a um, critical hit. Ooh, that hit a bit. Kill up herself there. And we got him. The enemies will level with you to some extent. They will hit a cap eventually, but... Whew, that felt like a lot. I wish I could say it was nothing, but I'm starting to get tired, too. I guess adventuring is pretty hard work. You're new to adventuring, right? I'd say you were doing alright, considering that fact. It is physically hard on people, I won't deny that. Still, we can make things easier on ourselves. We've already gathered equipment from them. Their weapons or armor are better than ours. We would do well to equip them to improve our capabilities. But why not? Uh, Santa can keep his spear. We use a slightly better shield. I think he's already got, yeah, pretty good armor. Uh, of course, the different party members could equip different things. Nothing new for Vagal at the moment. A Sandroth could take a spear, but I'll keep it with the claws for now, I think. And no more armor, particularly for him, Kathleen. Uh, could go for a knife. It attacks twice rather than just once. So, yeah, we'll maybe try that rather than the gun. Give her a buckler. And the rest of that's going to be the same. Raylia has a curved sword. I think that's still the best bet. She has a slightly better shield. Armor, though, she's got the best she's going to get at the moment. And Hedy has a scythe. Uh, we, could we could swap it out for another weapon. It has an increased critical rate, which could be good. Yeah, we'll leave her with that for now. Her shield is indeed better than what they've got. We will, however, equip the, the better helmet. And the slightly better, if a bit heavier, armor. Save that. A river? Down here? I think it's natural. Or, rather, I should say, I don't think they dug this out, too. In fact, it could be that the former owner used this to ship goods in and out, since it has to come from somewhere. Quite the schemer, whoever they were. Here they had this whole thing planned out. Waterways for shipping, an isolated location, monstrous guards in the basement. I'll say I'm more focused on just not falling in at this point. Uh, me starving. You come to feed? Guy's problem? Holy, it's an ogre. Don't get me wrong, I could defeat something like that, but I'm not sure the rest of you would do so well if you landed a hit on any of you. Ah, finally something big enough to go out on. <laughs> if you're not here to feed, you food. My ogre voice is not very good. Not that I can, well, try to charm an ogre, but this is a bit bigger than what we've dealt with so far. What's our plan again? Well, he's big, but he'll explode and slow. Even if he's faster than the undead from sheer size, I can't imagine he could dodge well. He's probably pretty resilient, though. That's not really a plan. I think in this case, we should just let rip. Lysandros right, they'll be easy to hit. Even if he's tough, or if we all do as much damage as we can, maybe we use our most powerful techniques, maybe we could do this. I'll follow your lead. It's as good a plan as any. Let's indeed... Uh, we'll go all out, but we'll wait for one turn to let something happen. But Vagel, we use Overchannel, the uh, the magic boosting one. Asandroff will try and build his gauge up, as will Catelyn. 
Aurelia will burn him? Sure, why not? And Hedy will use Soul Ignition. Ooh, who do you want to use it on? Well, I guess her. Hey, I'm glad I gave Vagor that band, because I think she would have dropped there without it. Breakthrough. Sounds like a big hitter. Aurelia will use... We'll try a Photon Lance. Sandroff is nearly ready to use his finisher. Caitlyn... Tried to steal from him. Aurelia, I think, would do well to... We'll do a Master Heal across our party. And Hedy could attack. Still some money from him. Sandra's getting rocks thrown at him. Well, a lot of them at that matter. We'll keep smacking away, I think. Actually, we'll try and blind him with Flare. Why not? Use Flurry. Uh, we'll use a Slash Steel. Yeah, we'll try and straight up pickpocket him. Life Burster will save. No one's that badly hurt yet. We'll throw a healing at Lysandros. And Hedy could attack again. Uh, of course, Flurry only hits one target, I suppose, so maybe that wasn't the best move to use. Or well, rather, it hits all the targets, but it only hits them once. Okay, magical effects are wearing down. Okay, well, we'll try... What's the weak to that we know of? A little bit weak to fire. We'll try wind, maybe? It looks pretty heavy. I don't know how well it'll work, but I don't remember all the weaknesses off by heart, so I have to admit some of these I will be trying to remember. Maybe Earth? Sandroff could smack him. Same for Catelyn. And you. And we we'll use a Dynamo Blade. We'll see how he resists to Lightning as well. Are we hurting him? I can't tell. Ah, ah, ah. Die, die, die. I'm doing what I can. He's got some surprisingly valuable stuff on him. I'm impressed. He's so heavy, I could barely phase him with my attacks. Just keep going. He might not be out yet, but neither are we. I guess it's up to me to keep healing the others, but the blows from this thing are huge. I hope I can keep it up. Ooh, he dodged the rock. Oh. Caitlin's down. Oh, dear. Okay, voltage. Ooh. Hit him with the photon lance again. That seems to be hitting quite hard. I sound like I could buff himself. We'll have Raelia get Caitlin back up. Try a dynamo blade. Okay. Try an upswing. We'll try... Is he weak to holy? Or is he just... Oh, he's just neutral. Okay, we're probably better burning him then. Uh, oh, you don't have a spell for that. What's he to earth? Oh, we haven't hit him with earth yet. Okay, we'll try that. You can try and steal from him again. Life Buster. Full heal time. Everyone's back up. Ah, we stunned him. I'm confused, actually. Right. Uh, oh, yeah, what was the weaknesses? What was he weak to? Earth. Oh, he's resistant to Earth. Okay, ice, water, and dark. We haven't tried. We'll try water. I don't think we have any dark spells. A crash flake. We'll punch him a bit. And the other thing I've realised we could do, we can... Well, I say realised, remembered I can do... We'll see if we can make him bleed. He did say about having enemies bleed out, so we'll try stabbing him in the back a few times. We'll try charming him. Maybe reduce his stats. And we'll try saving up for Cleave. Cleave is a bit of a warm-up. It's a big hard hitter, so we'll let it warm up. We'll, we'll build up the thing so we can use that again. No bleed, but he is weak to the damage from backstab, so we'll maybe try that again next turn. Oh, oh, we got very lucky. We paralyzed him with Crash Flake. Fire away, fellas. Uh, he's not particularly weak to ice, though, so we'll keep hitting him with, uh, I guess, Photon Lance.
Damn it, why would this thing die? What does it take to stop this thing? I'm wondering the same thing, trust me. Have you anything bigger you can hit him with? I knew it'd be a bit tougher than what we fought so far, but he's in such a high weight class, I could barely phase him, even with my biggest hits. Might have to actually try it with this one. Uh, we'll keep burning him. Uh, we'll have Vagal Channel, restore a bit of her supply, she's draining through it a little bit. Uh, Catelyn, keep trying to backstab him, we'll try and make him bleed. Uh... And Cleave is ready, so we'll use, uh, Biddy's Big Hit. Ah, we'll stun him. Okay. Yes, he isn't supposed to be too impossible to beat. He's resilient, but... As long as you, uh... Keep a rough idea on it. Keep, uh, yeah, keep a rough eye on your party. It shouldn't be too impossible to take down. Okay, we'll try charming him. Drop his stats. Hedy's burning blade might be a good choice as well, actually. I'm going to forget about that. Ah, he's finally bleeding. My anger's fading. It's tough enough. I'm having to channel constantly, and even I'm starting to wear out. I refuse to fall some beast that will take you down. I didn't lose to them, and I won't to you. Uh, hey, Vagel. That's a mana holding out. I'm starting uh, to feel pretty burned out, and you're channeling even more, if anything. Worry about your own reserves. I can keep going as long as it takes. <laughs> Maybe I'll get you to prove that to me later. If you live that long. I'm glad that morale's keeping up, but I can see we're all getting tired. Then again, he looks pretty worn down, too. Maybe we can still do this. Uh, Gust, maybe? Uh, shatter, that should be good against a target like that. Steal again, I guess. And then Burning Blade. Yeah. Ah, yes, you take a lot of damage from the bleeding. Let's finish him off, fellas. Hey. Hey, and we got some special equipment. We got an Ogre Tree Club and we got a Mangle Staff. Ah, I never die. I never. What? Creature falls to the ground, its corpse sca scarred with countless impacts of bloody all over. It was strong, but you pulled through. Alright, we made it through. He even had a bunch of great treasure on him. It's great. I'm uh, glad it went well for you. Man, I'm tired after all that. He just wouldn't go down. Are all strong monsters like that? Unfortunately for us, a lot of them are much stronger than that. But don't let that discourage you. You all did some excellent work today, and you've all still got space to grow. I'm sure of it. You've all proven your worth. If you all still wish to fight with me on my quest. It's going to be dangerous, but I mean, I've nowhere else to go right now anyway. Of course, a few little monsters like this don't scare me. That beast was nothing. I've already told you I'll crush each and every one I have to to prove their foolish dreams of conquest pointless. Are you kidding me? If that's the kind of loot we're finding now, I can't wait to see what we find later. I'll whip you all the way. You're a strange group, but it's been fun so far. I'll whip you, darling. Thank you, everyone. We'll rest up for the night, and tomorrow we'll set off for the capital. It's nearby, only a day's journey. I'll need to report it to the king, show him who I've chosen. Healed up. I thought it looked big from a distance. Is this really the city? Yeah, it's rather impressive, isn't it? Taz Peak stretches right up into the clouds sometimes. The King's Palace is right at the top, but there's a few other things we should do before then. We've got to climb all the way up that. What? Oh, no. There's a special way up. Only a few, including myself, are allowed to take. To speak you off, I've got a pass to ignore the queue so we can head straight in. I'll explain once we're in. We'll take a quick look at the city. A uh, slightly uh, substantial structure, shall we say? But for now, I think that's probably a good place to call it. My voice is not going to last for much uh, much longer. So rather than recording any more of the day, I shall call that there. And I shall see you guys all next time. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, I, uh, like I get, I hope you have. Because I, I made this and I'm hoping it's... Uh, hoping you guys might like it. Uh, it is available on Steam right now. You can find it in the description. So go take a look. It is absolutely the best way to support the channel. You know, like subscriptions, likes, comments, all that. It's all good. 
I'm very happy with that. You know, feel free to leave that. But the best way is to take a look at the game. But for now, I shall see you guys all again next time. Bye-bye.